Mary is considering opening a coffee shop. If she's successful, she'll make $500. Otherwise, the venture will lose $300. Mary thinks the probability of success is 50%, so she thinks the probability of failure is also 50%. She can hire Chris to conduct a study to narrow the uncertainty. Chris informs her that there's a 50% chance that the study will report the chance of success is 60%. Otherwise, the study will report the chance of success is 40%. So the first question asks, what is the expected profit if Mary hires Chris and the report is favorable? So we're looking for the expected profit given good news. Well, that's the 60% chance we're gonna have a successful year, plus the 40% chance we're gonna have an unsuccessful year, and that's $180. The next question is, what is the value of the study? Well, we already solved for one piece of the puzzle, so now we need to go and fill in the rest. First, let's, let's solve for the expected profit with no information. This is the 50% chance Mary thinks she'll be successful, plus the 50% chance she thinks she'll be unsuccessful, giving us an expected profit with no information of $100. The expected profit given bad news, well, given bad news, the chances of success are 40%. So 40% times our 500, plus 60% times our negative 300, gives us an expected profit given bad news of $20. So the expected profit with information how often are we gonna get good news? 50% of the time. So 50% of the time we get a good report and we expect to make $180. 50% of the time we get a bad report and we expect to make $20. So the expected profit given information is $100. So the value of this information is the expected profit given information minus the expected profit with no information, which in this case is 100 minus 100 or zero.